everyone i am lakshmi and welcome to my channel i see a whole lot of people being uncomfortable while they talk about their finances but this is such an important topic i find everything revolving around this i was a finance major while i was studying in my university and i learned little bit from my studies and also have learned from some research along the way so for today i have a whole package of some information from my experience and if you have a little bit of knowledge about investing and want to learn more and want to invest your money then this video is just for you where we discuss all things about personal finance and investing first and foremost before you start investing it is always important to save for an emergency fund because everything is uncertain right now because of inflation interest rate hikes layoffs which are happening all around the world so at least try to save for a month of expenses and gradually increase that amount to cover up to 3 to 6 months of your expenses also don't forget to put that money into your high savings account because the return in the high yield savings account is a lot more than traditional banks the second step is paying off your debt. Always try to get rid of high interest rate debts first because that is going to hold you back in the long run. The third step I'm going to talk about now is opening a retirement account. Opening a retirement account can help you start saving for your retirement. You can open 401k or Roth IRA account to start your for your retirement savings as early as possible. I opened a retirement account at the age of 25 and it is Transamerica's retirement account. I came to US four and a half years ago and I was literally unaware of all these things when I first came here. Even when I started my first job, it became difficult for me to understand these terms because these were two vague terms and this was a completely new topic for me. So I had to research about this topic and open a 401k retirement account it typically offers some forms of tax advantage because we don't have to pay tax when we start investing to our 401k account let me give a clear example about 401k retirement account you are eligible to open this account after you have a job in this account company matches a certain percentage of your salary for example if you are 100k a year and you put 12% of your income into your 401k account, you will only be taxed for 88k and your money won't be tax deducted today in this account and you have to pay tax later for these accounts. Also, your company is going to match certain percentage in your account. That means, uh, for example, my company matches 6% of my income so if I have a 100k salary then my company is going to give uh, 6,000 and put that into my retirement account so if I save $12,000 and 6,000 that's going to be $18,000 of savings each year that is going to be compounded every year right so this is awesome. On the other hand, for Roth IRA, you get to withdraw your money tax-free in retirement as long as you meet the requirements. Both of these accounts may have penalties if you withdraw money before the age of 59 and a half. Be confident you can leave this money invested for the long haul. Ultimately, the type of account you choose depends upon your situation and goals. Make sure to open the right requirement retirement account with a company that allows you to start investing with the amount you have available. You can put your retirement fund in different index funds. An index mutual fund is a single investment you can purchase. It holds several different types of investment. The benefit of investing with an index fund is that it allows you to invest without buying a share of each stocks within the index index mutual funds may have minimum initial investments to get started but several doesn't even require a minimum deposit so it's easier to get started when you start investing with the index mutual fund fidelity vanguard charles swabs offer a handful of zero minimum investment mutual funds options so it's always better to get started and it's always better to get started earlier 
Another upside is that the investments made here are diversified, which means you spread out the risk. Rather than holding a, a stock of a single company, you are holding a stocks or bonds through the index mutual fund and it diversifies your risk in one form well, if one of the companies you are invested at goes bankrupt then it is also not a problem because as your investment is diversified it's always a little bit of risk free in certain sense you can invest in these mutual funds and still grow in a slow manner also you can invest in stocks generally a uh, stock is a share of a company for example if you want to buy a share of a tesla which means you buy a small piece of tesla and your stock grows as the stock market grows and as this tesla company performance grows if you prefer to pick the individual stock you want to invest in you can still invest in stocks without a lot of money Several new investing apps like Robinhood, Stats, Webull allow you to buy frictional shares of stocks and ETFs as well. Rather than having up to saving up to $1,000 to buy even a single share of popular technology company, you can buy, for example, 0.001 percentage of share for the company for $1. This makes it easy to diversify portfolio of your individual stock and you can always start early. You can use these fractional shares to buy partial shares of several companies with a relatively invest, small investment. It will be difficult to do this with the whole shares unless you have a significant amount of money saved and also lots of research you have to do before you start investing. Risks come with a reward, so higher the risk, higher the reward. So try to manage these risks and diversify your investment. Overall, don't put your money in one basket. The money grows in index funds because of its power of compounding and its diversification. When you invest your money, it earns returns, which then earn more returns over the time so it's the power of compounding by starting early you give your money time to grow and compound which can result in a significantly larger portfolio over the long term and if there is any kind of downturns in the markets it will give more time to recover from the market downturns stock market always tend to go up or down in the short term but over the long term as a you can see the graphs it's always going up by starting early you can ride out many short-term market fluctuations and still benefit from the long-term growth potential of the stock market for example you will be more affected now because the stock market is volatile and the economy is pretty bad but if you start investing at this downturns then it is going to give a Lots of higher rewards. So now let's go to investor.gov's financial calculators and go to in compound interest calculators where we are going to put initial investment at $1,000. And for example, let's put monthly contribution as $500. And uh, the time to invest is 30 years and the estimated interest rate let's keep it eight percent as the s p index funds growth rate is eight to eleven percent so let's keep it eight percent and calculate it now so if you see here the red red line that's going upwards is the amount that comp compounded gradually and the amount tends to be six hundred eighty nine thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars and 92 cents and the amount you invested in a point of time is almost 281 thousand dollars so you see the massive almost like three and a half uh, times growth in your money right within the span of 30 years so 
it's always better to start early and the earlier the better so now let's talk about the other topic that is investing in real estate it will almost take one to three years to save for the down payment of your first home so if you are thinking of investing into real estate then make sure you don't put your money into s p index 500 it is most important financial decision to make and it is one of the best i advice i ever got for example if you had put your money in growth stocks in 2022 the value of growth stocks even some of the value stocks has decreased over the period of time and in this kind of period in uncertainty you are always going to lose your money so it's always better to keep that down payment money aside rather than putting that into s p funds so that your money is secure and you are able to buy your dream house you can put your money in higher savings account if you don't want to lock your money away for a safe period but if you want a high interest rate then checking account or savings account consider a money market or high savings account although interest rates have been declining as a whole in comparison these accounts could be a decent savings option for you when interest rates are rising again different banks are giving you interest rate from about 3.5 to 4.5 percentage so it is always better to look at that the most important thing to invest is invest in yourself traditional investments are great but you may be able to earn more money if you invest in yourself you can buy books or courses to teach yourself some new skills so that you are marketable at your job you can be able to verify your skills by taking different tests and earning certifications this can show your expertise in particular skill and also you may be able to start a profitable side hustle in many ways successfully investing in yourself could result in making more money in the long run rather than investing in traditional investment thoroughly investigate any potential training before purchasing it although the products might sound legitimate there are scams present in and around us too so put your time into research and make sure you are learning from this and also you are learning from your mistakes i believe that making same mistake twice is not going to give any different output so invest wisely do your own research and try to learn from other people and learn from the books as well and if you have any questions or any kind of curiosity please comment in my video i'll try to answer your questions and if you want me to make any videos related to any kind of financial topics you can also mention that in comment please do like share and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video